Go ahead and pause this video to try this math level 2 question. A good rule of thumb when you're tackling math subject test questions, levels 1 and 2, or an SAT or ACT question, is keep it simple. When we get stuck on questions, whether they're easy or medium or hard, especially when they're hard, we typically think that the solution is going to be something complicated. There's going to be some formula that we'll have to plug in and then do all this work and do some factoring and canceling, do all this work, and it's going to take forever. That's almost always not going to be the case. In fact, the solution is most of the time going to be simple, even on a hard question. Now, there might be some concept or fact that you need to know to answer it, but it's very rarely the case that it's going to be pages and pages of work. It happens, but even when there's a lot of work, it's usually going to be relatively straightforward and clean. It's not going to be you know, crazy fractions, crazy square roots, crazy stuff. It's going to be simple. There, the solutions are going to be something you can do without a ton of effort. So on a question like this, given this polynomial, 5x to the 13th plus 3x to the 10th minus k divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 20, what is the value of k? question like this, your first instinct might be to say, okay, well, this is dividing into this polynomial, so let me set up some long division and say, okay, 5x to the 13th plus 3x to the 10th minus k. And then I'll start dividing this in, and then you'll realize it's going to take forever because this is 5x to the 13th, so we're going to have a ton of factors or a ton of uh, terms to this uh, quotient here. Uh, you also could try doing it, I suppose, with synthetic division, but it's really going to be the same issue because you'd have to fill in all these coefficients and divide it all out. And, you know, it would work eventually, but that's a lot of work. And it's not like it's impossible to do. It's just going to take a while, and there's a lot of places to make mistakes. So on a question like this, when you see that the work is going to be hard, you might ask yourself, is there a shortcut? And in this case, there is, and you have to recognize something or remember something about this scenario. Let's take this x plus 1. Let's imagine that this were a factor of the polynomial here. If this were a factor, we could set this factor equal to 0 and get the root or the 0 of this equation, right? This is where, th if this were a factor, you could set this equal to 0, and x equals negative 1 would satisfy the equation, setting it equal to 0. But here's the thing. When you're told that this is a remainder, Another way to think about this is when you plug negative 1 in for x, out comes 20. So when I plug negative 1 in for x, so negative 1 to the 13th plus 3 times negative 1 to the 10th minus k, when I plug negative 1 in for x, this equals 20. And now it's just an equation. There's not this whole long division process that I need to complete. So let's go ahead uh, and solve this. So negative 1 to the 13th will be just negative 1. This will just be positive 1. So this is negative 2 minus k is equal to 20. And now we're going to add 2 to both sides. Get negative k equals 22. So k equals negative 22. And that would be choice A. So as you can see, if you know the concept of the fact, it's a pretty simple question. And that's how these are often going to go. So if you see something that seems like it's going to be crazy, complicated, or take a bunch of work, take a step back and ask yourself, can I do this in a simpler way? Now, of course, if you don't know this little fact, it's, you're going to have to do it the long way. But that's just a sign that this is something, if you're not familiar with it, you need to become familiar with it. So that if a question like this does, comes up, does come up on your test, you'll be able to tackle it uh, without much stress. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.